In this video, we're going to finish the setup of our site. Over here, we have banners. This is where you can do some monetization. In the version here, you can have a full banner, 468 by 60, and this is in the header section. And then you can have a full banner, 468 by 60, and this is between the video ads. Now, I've turned off the ad block on my site, so let's go and look at the site now. And here is the one banner on the right here, still loading. And then down here, here is our other banner. So those are where the banners will appear. So what you can do is change them right here. So the way this works is this part is the link when you click on the banner where it's going to go where it says ahref equal the part in the quotes there and then this down here is where the image is uploaded okay so you can either change both of these so that they point at a URL you want to go to where you're clicked and where you're going to upload your banner image or you could use adsense in here and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put an adsense ad in each of these spots okay so i just I'm going to I get my AdSense code from my site and I just paste it in here and same here I just paste it in here and now we have some AdSense code on here you'll also notice that we've got two more popped up here we can put a footer in at 728 by 90 and a rectangle along the sidebar at 300 by 250 so I suggest you change those as well using AdSense or some other ad format. Okay, let's save the, save the changes. So let's go back here. Let's do a refresh. Okay, so there's my AdSense code. Now, of course, you can change the colors on your AdSense code and so on. I just put some standard AdSense code in there and here is the other one here okay so that's quickly how you can do some fast monetization that way next thing we have are links these show up down here okay so you can link to some of your other sites or if you put up more of these niche sites you can link them all together using the links down here. Okay, so that's very straightforward. You're just going to go in here, delete the links you don't want. And then you add your link here. Title and URL. Simple as that. And it'll link off to where what you put in there. Analytics, very simple. All you do is you put any type of analytics code you want in here. You can use Google Analytics or you can use Stats Counter or whatever one you want to use. I also have a post here. If you click on that, they just show you some other tools here that you can use. So that just helps you know where your traffic's coming from. Here are the tags on your site. These appear here when somebody searches on your site. Okay, so so you can set how many the maximum you want to display the maximum font size and the tags minimum font size here and if you want to delete the tags you can click here okay now let's back to here this is where the tags are okay so that's how that works we have cache here you can clear out the cache in here by clicking delete all cache I don't suggest that you change any of this unless you really know what you're doing it's telling you the directories where the cache is so I wouldn't be changing any of that and then we have some timeout times down here I wouldn't change any of this unless you know what you're doing and then over here we have admin and this is just where you can change your passwords and emails and your database information and password are down at the bottom Okay, so that's how easy it is to create your niche video site. You can create as many of these as you like with the scripts that I gave you. Hook them all together 
using the links down here and watch the traffic increase and your earnings increase as well as people click on the ads that you have in your site. Now you can also modify the script if you like just if you know how to do that you can just go in and you can modify the code if you're good at that. You can also install this script within a WordPress blog. I'm going to show you. This would enable you to have a video section on your WordPress blog. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new WordPress blog really quick using Fantastico Deluxe. Let's click WordPress over here. And then we'll do a new installation. Okay, and I'm just going to put this into the root directory here. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll go to the admin area. I'm going to sign in here. Okay, now what I would do is go to plugins. And we're, then we're going to do add new. And then we are going to upload. And then we're going to browse here. And then we're going to go to our script, which is a zip file. And install. And this will install PrismoTube right inside our script here, or right inside our WordPress blog. Activate. And there it is. Now, if we go over here to where it says PrismoTube, it's going to use the same information we have for our login here, our same email address that's on here. And it's going to install it in, a, in the video directory, so our domain slash video. Let's click install. So if I already have video there, which I do, I'm going to put videos. Okay, so there it is. Complete the installation. This is look. This is just like before, except now we're within WordPress, and here we are. So from here, it's the same as what we did earlier you get your license key and you proceed along here now if we go back and have a look at our if we just click on prismotube again you'll see prismotube sites and here it is down here okay so if we click on that of course we get the invalid key right now because we haven't done that yet but that's how you you can add the video site to your wordpress blog so all you'd have to do is in Put in the link section, you can just add a link to your PrismoTube site. Here's where you go to admin to log in. Okay, so that's how you can do it within WordPress. So, this point, you know how you can set it up as a standalone site and how you can add it to a WordPress blog.